Good afternoon, and welcome to the Brockton Fire Department's graduation of Class 2022-01. At this time, I would like to call to the podium Firefighter Derek Scully for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I'd like to thank the Brockton Fire Department Honor Guard at this time and the Pipes and Drums. They always do a great job. I would like to invite uh, one of the Brockton Fire Department's chaplains for the invocation, Reverend William McCoy. Thank you. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we are grateful for those who serve you, those who gather here, firefighters, seasoned and new, first responders, rescue workers, public servants, citizens all. Oh God, we ask your blessing at this time upon the recruits before us as well as officers and members of our various fire departments. May all of their efforts, we pray, and the time given to their work enjoy your continued guidance and blessing as they labor to preserve life from the hazards of fire and other emergencies, without thought, without thought of rich or poor, O oh Lord, of race, nationality, or creed. We give thanks for their families, parents, spouses, siblings, children, and friends. Without their love and support, they couldn't be where we are, all of us today. Bless them too, protect them, reunite them safely time and again. Grant each of us, O oh God, the will and courage to answer the call to serve, that we commend ourselves and earn the tribute, well done, good and faithful servant. All this we ask in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. <clears throat> this time I would like to invite Mayor Robert Sullivan to the podium. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, acknowledge uh, really a wonderful, wonderful chief, Brian Nardelli. Thank you for your leadership, chief. I also want to recognize uh, Chief Williams, Chief Francis, Chief Galligan that are here. I also want to say that uh, the leadership of Bill Hill for 144 and as president and before that, Archie Gormley, just two really great examples of being public servants. So thank you for what you do. I want to thank uh, our, our state delegation. We have a truly great group here that work for us here in Beacon Hill. We have Senator Mike Brady. We have Representative Jerry Cassidy. Representative Michelle Dubois. And this person's wearing tool hats, Councilor at Large, but the newest state rep, Rita Mendez. And lastly, our, our dear friend, State Senator Walter Timothy. So as mayor, I, I am just so excited to be here. I want to, uh, first of all, say uh, publicly thank you to the men and women that serve every day, the Brockton Fire Department. Um, think about a week ago Tuesday at the Brockton Hospital. I was there as mayor, uh, and I, I just was awed watching uh, the dedication of the men and women running into that building, a 10 alarm. Never had a 10 alarm before. And the toxic fumes that were coming out, and I specifically said to some of my team, to me, it was just amazing. I was awestruck. There was no hesitation. It was all hands on deck. There was a mission. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And Brian Adeli and his team were just phenomenal. No injuries, no loss of life. Let's give them a round of applause. So I, uh, I want to welcome you to uh, the sisterhood and brotherhood, the family known as the Brockton Fire Department. Today starts your career, right? It's a new chapter in your, in your life book. 
but know that the men and women that currently serve and those that came before you, lean on them, sponge them. Every single person that wears that badge or has worn that badge has something to offer you. So I've never had that opportunity. I'm just so thankful that they are. But I mean this, the deputies, the brass, the firefighters, really, you need to work together. It's about collaboration. But I am just here to say thank you for choosing this path. Thank you for choosing the City of Champions. God bless you, stay safe, and I hope you all have wonderful long careers. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor, for all of your support over the years. <clears throat> I would like to invite now uh, Chief Brian Nardelli to the podium, please. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, welcome to the City of Champions. Um, with right now in front of me, I have a lot of champions right here, whether they're from the city or not. Um, they worked hard and got through a grueling 13-week process to be here. Um, just to really quick reach out to the mayor, um, I know uh, CFO Clarkson is here as well. He's supposed to be here. I'm not sure if he's here yet. The dedication um, the city has had over the years to the Brockton Fire Department is, is second to none, and that's led by the mayor and his team, along with the uh, city council, what we get from the state house. So thank you to all the dignitaries that are here that make this possible. Not everybody has that not only in this commonwealth, but around this country. So I think it's important for people to realize there's so much that goes on behind the scene prior to these men and women sitting up here today to graduate. Um, I want to thank my staff um, at the office. There's a lot of behind the scenes that goes on, Suzanne and Melanie and Laureen, um, with the packets and the, all the getting the medicals done, the psychs. I sometimes just walk out in the uh, ante room and I say, I just turn around, do a bow face and walk back in because I can't even imagine what's going on out there. Um, the training staff, um, as a former training deputy, I know the arduous task you take upon when you need to run a drill school. This, is, this doesn't happen. This is, this is a lot of work there in the firehouse, in the training office, before the sun comes up and after it goes down. So I know the deputy will recognize all of them when he gets up here, but thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart because I really feel that you are what it takes to mold young firefighters to where they need to be. Um, to the families of the firefighters, they're gainfully employed and have health insurance. So if they're living in your basement, that's a good thing, right? Uh, one more person I'd like to recognize um, today, uh, Jeff Wynn, uh, just started as the new Mass Fire Academy director. Um, great friend to the Brock. Director Wynn served 34 years in the armed services and now comes to work with the uh, fire service. He's not a, a stranger to the fire service in that um, he has multiple relatives, including a brother, uh, cousins, nephews, and such now in the fire department. But he also, um, he, he worked diligently with the hazmat units throughout the Commonwealth and Massachusetts in some joint training and joint exercises. So he will be a great asset to the fire service here in the Commonwealth working with Marshal Ostrowski. So that's awesome to have you. Thank you, Marshal. I'm sorry. Thank you, Director. Um, to the recruits, big day, rest of your career, right? Um, day one, and I, anyone who knows me, this is hot. I, talk, I walk around a lot when I talk, so behind this podium is not the simplest thing I'm going to do all day, I'll tell you right now. Um, to the recruits, I told you early on it's a privilege to be here. We didn't recruit you, you came to us, and it is a privilege to serve and wear that uniform. And every day you have to ask yourself, what am I going to do better today to deserve that privilege. I think the people you see in this room, and the firefighters throughout the Commonwealth and throughout the country, think of that every day. Because I don't think you can pay a man or a woman to step into a burning building or into harm's way. I think there is something in your gut, which is a calling, that puts you in the position you are today. So you're going to be tired. You'll be exhausted. Strength physically, mentally. You'll have good days and bad days. But what you have to do is you have to look yourself in the mirror and say, why am I here? I am privileged, and I answered that calling to stand and protect the residents of my community, whether it be the city of Brockton, whether it be North Attleboro, Stoughton, Hanover, Easton, the different departments that are represented here today. I think it is important for you every day to realize that. You have to think big. We don't do anything small in the fire department, if you noticed. You need to think big and do big, because with big 
good things and big things happen. Nelson Mandela said, never think small, always think big, look for compassion and success and you'll always be successful. That is important. Do we take chances on the fire ground? We take educated chances. We make decisions that are best for the residents and best to keep everyone safe. You will be put in that harm's way and you'll be put in that position on a regular basis. I think if we didn't risk and take chance at some point in a strategic way, then fires would not be, we would not take care of the fire problem in not only the Commonwealth but the country the way we do. Thomas Edison had a thousand failed experiments. Experiments Before what? He created the light bulb. That was a thousand and one. And that's what powers 42 Pleasant Street, Station One right now, is the electricity that he personally put in that building. So if he didn't fail, which you will fail at times, you will leave this fire department, you'll go home in the morning, go home at night, and you'll think, what didn't I do right? Keep asking yourself that question. Because the minute you stop asking yourself that question, Hang your gear up on the wall and go home, because we always need to get better. The residents deserve that, and you deserve that. You deserve that for your fellow firefighters. You deserve that for your families. Pay attention to everything you do, and every day strive to get better at that task. You're not going to go into harm's way maybe right away. Some of you will maybe, and I, the hardest thing about, for the families and everyone here as well, the hardest, one of the hardest things you will try to do in your first couple of weeks is say, all right, when am I going to get that first fire? Everybody thinks it, you can talk to anyone in this room. But it will come, some of you, sooner than later. But I challenge you to be the strongest you can be every day you come to work and be prepared for that. May God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. I would like now to invite the President of Firefighters Local 144, Bill Hill. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'd like to thank the mayor for being here today. I'd like to thank Chief Nardelli for the opportunity to speak before the recruits and their families. Uh, I'd also like to recognize Chief Galligan, Chief Francis, and Chief Williams, um, who I, I worked under all three of those guys and uh, got me where I am today. As well, as I'd like to recognize um, Archie Gormley, the president emeritus of our local. And um, I know the mayor recognized a lot of the politicians as well, and um, I'd like to thank all them for being here today as well. Um, so I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, I don't move around as much as the chief, but uh, you know, I'll try to hit my target. So uh, I especially want to thank the families for being here today and congratulate not only the recruits for what you've accomplished, but also thank the families. Um, we had a dinner last night, so typically the night before the recruits graduate, we have a, a dinner down at our union hall. This, will be the, this is the last time they'll all be together till they go to their different shifts, um, and then they'll be all working, you know, different kind of schedule. And um, it's, you know, as kind of the chief alluded to, um, this is all done as a team. Everything in the fire service is a team, um, family included, and, uh, and friends. So, um, you know, I want to let the families know, uh, for some of them, this is the first time you're going to have a relative that's working in this career. Um, some, it's now a son or a daughter, uncle, aunt, um, that's going to be working in an inherently dangerous job. Um, but I want to reassure you that the academy they just went through, uh, pound for pound, is probably one of the best fire academies from here to the West Coast. So trust in knowing that they were trained to the most proficient firefighting uh, abilities possible. Um, today, you'll graduate here and you'll leave as professional firefighters. This is a trade that you have. This isn't a fly-by-night job. You've been trained in specific skills to protect the people of Brockton, protect property, protect each other, and you've been doing that over this whole 13 weeks with the intention of today. So on behalf of all the members of Local 144, I congratulate all the members of this recruit class and wish you the best of luck and a healthy career. Okay, now it's my turn. So, uh, 
The plan was to write the speech this morning. <laughs> Funny thing happened on the way to work. Uh, ended up at a two alarm fire. So uh, what I'd like to do right now is, uh, could anyone, any, anyone in the room that helped instruct this Raku class, please uh, take your feet, take your stand, stand up, please. <clears throat> so these are just a few of the instructors, okay? These are the ones that we happen to have here today. There's easily uh, twice as many out there that helped us uh, that teach these recruits. Uh, you know, there are many firefighters that have specialties. We brought them in to teach that specialty. Uh, Chief, why aren't you standing? <laughs> Your hydraulics class is great. Uh, but uh, it, it takes a team. It takes everybody. I can't do it all myself. Without my staff, without uh, the other deputies, I, I can't get it done. Uh, I'd be lost. Uh, thank you. Thank you all. Amen. So I did manage to write down a few words. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Recruits, from this day forward, you are firefighters. This means from this day forward, you will be in harm's way from time to time. The safety bubble of drill school burst, gone. You will be safe and effective if you continue to learn and hone the skills you have learned here. If you do not practice these skills, you will lose them. They are perishable. Be proactive, be professional. Make me prouder of you than I am today, because I am proud of you. I will be on the fire ground here in Brockton and in some towns. I'll be watching. I am sure you will perform admirably. My door will always be open, and the training division will, here, will uh, be here for you for the rest of your careers. Do not hesitate to reach out. Be safe. God bless. So for the past 13 weeks, um, we've been taking pictures, videos, whatever, of the recruits and their training. We're going to show you a video here. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. it uh, it's a pretty quick video considering it over 13 weeks we did way more than you're going to see, but uh, these are the highlights.
my soul was smoking fire I didn't feel a thing But suddenly I was rising higher And I felt like I just made The biggest mistake When I thought about my unborn child When I thought about my wife And the answer rang out clear From somewhere up above No greater gift has man Than to lay down his life for love And I wonder Would I give my life Or could I make that sacrifice If I came down There's a brother on my left and another on my right And in his pocket just like mine He's got a photograph And they're waiting for him back home And it's wigging on my mind I'm not trying to be a hero I don't want to die But right now in this moment You don't think twice I would like to invite uh, Senator Mike Brady up to read the citation. And this is for all the new firefighters. And on a personal note, I know Chief Nadell has been recognized already, but I want to thank him and all the mutual aid from all the other communities that saved the lives of Proctor Hospital a short while ago. <clears throat> it could have been a much worse strategy, and all of us at the state delegation, the local city officials, and all of us are working together to hopefully get that facility or whatever's needed up and running again. As we all know, it's, it's been a very serious situation, but uh, our first responders and our nurses and our healthcare workers couldn't have done a better job working together. It's not, there's not a better team out there than the firefighters of this Commonwealth of Massachusetts. I've represented the city of Brockton with several other towns, and I know my colleagues, 
Senator Walter Timothy, Representative Jerry Cassie, Representative Michelle Dubois, Representative Rita Mendez, and the local city officials are all here for you. We work on your behalf, and any help we can be at the state or local level, please do not hesitate to contact us. And just because I'm probably one of the oldest gang of uh, state delegation, don't forget we learn things new every day. Firefighting, what it was 20 or 30 years ago, you deal with a lot of mental health issues, not just putting off fires. It's a different world we, do, we deal with every day. So we as elected officials are learning every day. So if there's any help you need, our doors are always open, new legislation, funding, whatever is needed. So thank you and congratulations to all of you. And this is official citation from the State Senate, be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to all the new firefighters in recognition of your graduate from the Brockton Fire Department Recruit Training Program, Class of 2022-01. And for joining the brave men and women of the Brockton Fire Department and all the other communities that you were representing. And be it further known, the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends best wishes for continued success that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Senate and attested to a copy, therefore, transmitted by the Clerk of the Senate. And this is signed by myself, Mike Brady, and we have other citations from Senator Walter Timothy and our representatives Jerry Cassie, Michelle Dubois, and uh, Rita Mendez, and, and our local officials. So again, from the bottom of my heart, congratulations, but more importantly to the families, congratulations, and not just to the firefighters, but to the families. We here are here to represent all of you, so please don't hesitate to contact us. Any help we can be of moving forward, and our doors are always open on your behalf. God bless you all. I'd like to invite uh, Representative Jerry Cassidy to uh, read the um, citation. Thank you very much. Congratulations. I've known uh, two of you since you were little, little kids, I tell you. And now you're going to protect us here in the uh, city of Brockton. I'm so very, very proud of uh, everyone here. Uh, Representative DeBoer, Representative Michelle, uh, I mean, uh, Rita Mendez. We have David Coase from uh, Norwell, Representative, and Adam Scanlon from uh, uh, North Attleboro. So thank you very much for being here. <clears throat> Before I do read the citation, I would just uh, uh, give a little advice. Um, when you're, we have different events coming up, like Strand Theater is uh, one of the big ones, the St. Patrick's Day Mass, and then the State House, September 11th, we always have an event there. I would reach out and go into uh, these different events. And also, when you see a retired firefighter, like a, a good friend, Archie Gormley, go up to him, just say, Archie, what was your top three uh, calls that you've, you've made? You could learn something from Archie uh, quite a bit. And, you know, it's, it's always good to have that reciprocation you know, between the uh, retired uh, gentleman uh, and, and yourself. It could save your life. So on behalf of the House of Representatives, be, where it be known that the uh, Mass House of Representatives offers its sincere congratulations uh, in recognition of your graduation from the Brockton Fire Department Recruit Training uh, Program, Class 2021, and uh, uh, joining the uh, brave men and women of the uh, Brockton Fire Department and other communities. Um, uh, signed on behalf of Ron Mariano, the Speaker of the House, myself, uh, uh, Representative Dubois, and uh, Representative uh, uh, Rita Mendez. So congratulations and uh, be safe. Thank you, sir. We will now present uh, to the members of Class 2022-01 their certificates of completion from the Brockton Fire Department's Academy. Chief. So if your uh, firefighter is getting recognized, you can uh, make your way, if you want to take pictures, please feel free to make your way down the aisle. <clears throat> First up, from Brockton, Derek Scully. Does the Stoughton Chief come on up?
Next up, firefighter Megan Hill from Stoughton. Next up from North Attleboro, Cameron Cornetta. <laughs> Next up from Brockton, Anthony Hardy. From Easton, William Mosher. <laughs> From Brockton, Jeremiah Derulis. From, from Hanover, Michael Watkins. From Brockton, Chad Ferrin. <clears throat> From Hanover, Reed Broderick. From Brockton, Mark Peterson. <clears throat> From Stoughton, John Goldberg. From Brockton, Ryan McIntosh. <laughs> From Brockton, Devin Wynn.
from Brockton, Steve Perry. And from Brockton, Edward Zion IV. So now we're going to move right into the pinning uh, ceremony. <clears throat> it's going to go in the same order, so if you know that you're going to be the one pinning your firefighter, you can start making your way up. First to be pinned, Brockton firefighter Derek Scully. He will be pinned by his girlfriend, Kate O'Sullivan. Stoughton firefighter, Megan Hill, she'll be pinned by her mother, Anita Hill. North Attleboro firefighter Cameron Cornetta. He'll be pinned by his mother, Melissa Cornetta, and sister, Kirsten Palmer. Brockton firefighter Anthony Hardy, he'll be pinned by his wife Lauren and daughter Blakely. <laughs> this is where the chief gets the baby, right? Eastern firefighter William Mosher, he will be pinned by his sister Lila Stanfield. Brockton firefighter Jeremiah Derulis. He'll be pinned by his mother, Wilda, and father, Patrick Derulis.
Hanover firefighter Michael Watkins. He will be pinned by his wife, Kara, daughters Casey and Zoe. Brockton firefighter Chad Ferron will be pinned by his father, John. Hanover firefighter Reed Broderick, he will be pinned by his father, retired Halifax Police Chief Edward Broderick. Brockton firefighter Mark Peterson, he'll be pinned by his mother, Dottie Peterson. Stoughton firefighter John Goldberg, he'll be pinned by his father, Stoughton Fire Lieutenant Retired Gregory Goldberg, brother Stoughton Fire Lieutenant Justin Goldberg. Brockton firefighter Ryan McIntosh, he'll be pinned by his brother Zachary McIntosh. Brockton firefighter Devin Wynn, he'll be pinned by his father, Brockton firefighter Brandon Wynn.
Brockton firefighter Stephen Perry. He'll be pinned by his fiance, Heather McNamara, and brother David Perry. Brockton firefighter Edward Zion IV, he'll be pinned by his father, Brockton Fire Lieutenant Edward Zion III. Okay, now for the class awards. <clears throat> so drill school is pretty rigorous, a lot of academics, a lot of uh, practical application. We grade them on all their testing as well as practical application. Um, after eight exams and a final exam, uh, one of the then recruits, now firefighter, uh, stood out. It was, a, it, was a, it was a battle up until about test six. And then he pulled away, guys, I hate to tell you. So receiving the award for the highest GPA, firefighter Derek Scully. <laughs> so for practical application, we have 27 grading stations that we do. And after 27, uh, and this was a battle up to the, actually the last grading station. The last, the last guy to go, I believe. So the award to, for practical application goes to Stoughton firefighter John Goldberg. This next award is a, is a leadership award. It's voted upon by my staff. Um, and from the very get-go, honestly, before day one, uh, this firefighter stood up, and he, he was the guy that went around the room and got everybody's name and number. And from then on, we knew we could trust him. If we wanted something done, this is the guy we went to. Hey, go get this done. He took some recruits and go got it done. So the award for leadership goes to firefighter Derek Scully. Now for the class gift. I'd like to call up my staff one by one, and they will join me over here. Captain Brian Doton. <laughs> Captain Steve Montero. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan Santry. <laughs> Lieutenant Eric McGuire. Lieutenant Jonathan Roddenbush. I don't think Charlie could make it, but firefighter Charlie Hayward. Firefighter Mark Lopes.
Firefighter Chris Anderson. And Firefighter Christian Bugby. So for the class gift, the class is elected to have firefighters Perry, Zine, and Ferrin come up and present. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to thank you all for being here today. On behalf of our class, I'd like to thank Chief Nardelli, Deputy Chief Hendrigan, the training staff, and all the firefighters who helped us throughout drill school. Over the past 13 weeks, they have worked hard to prepare us for life as a firefighter, passing down as much knowledge as possible, giving us a strong foundation to build our careers on. They have not only been mentors to us, but they have been models of good character, integrity, discipline, and dedication. To say that we are grateful is an understatement. With that being said, we'd like to present you with this as a symbol of our gratitude. At this time, I would like to call to the podium firefighter Anthony Hardy for the fireman's prayer. A fireman's prayer. When I'm called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me the strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Help me to embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older person from the honor of that fate. Enable me to be alert to hear the weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and give the best in me to guard my every neighbor and protect his property. And if in your will I have to lose my life, bless with your protecting hand my children and my wife. I'd like to invite uh, another of the Brockton Fire Department's chaplains, uh, Reverend Ortez Vandros, to come up for the benediction. May we bow our heads, please. May the Lord bless thee and protect thee. May the Lord smile upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord show forth his favor and give you peace. Amen. Chief, with your permission, I'd like to dismiss the class. Thank you, sir. Class 2022-1, ah, uh, 10. Huh! Dismissed.